uh, the beta of one of mathematics. Uh, in this slide, we'll try to see a biography, um, early life, and a career of mathematical career of the greatest mathematician Leonard Euler. So stick with me. Here is Leonard Euler, Euler emerging from the shower. Uh, overview, early life and contribution. That's what we try to cover. So let's start with some quotes. The study of Euler's work will remain the best school for various fields of mathematics, and nothing will replace it. This was a quote by uh, German mathematician Karl Ferry Gauss, who was uh, considered as a uh, prince of mathematician by E.T.B. in his beautiful book Men of Mathematics. Read Euler, read Euler, he's the master of us all. And this beautiful quote was quoted by French mathematician Pierre de Laplace. Early life. Leonard Euler was born on 15 April 1707 in Basel, Switzerland. He was raised in Rennes, which is down near Basel. He was uh, a child prodigy. And there is a quote uh, regarding this. Euler calculated without apparent effort, as men breeze or eagles sustain themselves in the wind. At the age of 30, he enrolled at the University of Basel, and after three years, he received Master of Philosophy. Uh, while he was studying philosophy, Euler attended mathematics class of John Bernoulli one of the members of Bernoulli family in Switzerland, the greatest mathematicians in Switzerland, the whole family actually. Uh, John Bernoulli was the uh, friends of Euler's father. Uh, after receiving his master's degree in philosophy, Euler began his study of theology following his father's wish. But John persuaded his father to let him study mathematics. His father agreed, and that was a major turning point in Euler's life. Mathematical career Euler was the most prolific mathematician ever. He wrote one third of the mathematics of 18th century. Imagine. It's too hard to believe. It's too hard to believe. His collected work, Opera Omnia, is still in print. One of the most known physicists of our time, Stephen Hawking, once said that it takes a lifetime to compose life's work, but for Leonard Euler, a century or more. There is an upper diversity on Euler's writing, and there was hardly a branch of mathematics to which he did not contribute. Contribution Euler contribution to mathematics, mathematical notations. Euler introduced uh, a notation for a function, f of x, the well known notation f of x, for the first time. He introduced it for the first time. And sigma for summation, e for base of natural logarithm, i for imaginary number, and he popularized the notation pi for the ratio of circumference of a circle to its diameter and also the Venn diagram this diagram he used a century before uh, mathematician John Venn used it so these are some some contributions of order in mathematics mathematical notation so let's see the beautiful results of Euler
here are the most beautiful results of all in fact in mathematics oil formula in complex analysis a is to ix is equal to cos x plus i sin x this is the most elegant formula in mathematics ever ever have seen and as a corollary of this a is to i pi plus 1 is equal to 0 <laughs> another astonishing result uh, Euler polyhedral formula V plus F is equal to E plus 2, where V, F, and E are vertices, phase, and edge. And Euler considered as a father of graph theory by solving the, prob the problem of the seven bridges of Konigsberg as well as. Uh, introducing this formula, but also solved the Bazel problem, which was posed by Jacob Bernoulli, in, uh, the brother of John John Bernoulli, with uh, the other members of uh, Bernoulli family, the greatest mathematicians in the Switzerland ever in Switzerland. Uh, uh, the problem is this summation of 1 over n sphere as n runs from 1 up to infinity. That was the problem. Uh, Jacob knew that this summation will, will converge, but he, he, can, he couldn't find the actual result. But Euler solved it and it was. Pi square over 6. The late years of Leonard Euler. Euler spent most of his adult life in St. Petersburg, Russia. In 1735, he became nearly blind in his right eye. On 19 June 1741, he moved to Berlin, Prussia, Germany. Actually. On his stay in Berlin Academy, he did lots of things besides mathematics. This includes organizing state lotteries, advise the government on insurance issues, supervise academies, observatory, and botanical garden, etc. In 1766, he returned to Russia. At the meantime, he was totally blinded. But that didn't stop him from doing mathematics. In fact, he did more than half of his life's work while he was blind. That's courage. That's the spirit of others. Uh, finally, in St. Petersburg on 18 September 1783, after lunch with his family during a conversation with a fellow academician about the newly discovered Oranus and its orbit, Euler suffered a brain hemorrhage and died a few hours later. This is Euler's grave at the Alexander Nevsky Monastery. That's it. And uh, as a bonus, uh, here is the a proof of God existence. Which was the Euler's proof of God existence. A plus B is to n over n is equal to x, hence God exists. <laughs> that was the Euler's proof. The story goes like this Once at the court of country, Catherine, Catherine, Catherine would be. Queen of Russia at that time, once at the court of Catherine, the great Euler met a French philosopher named Denis Diderot. Diderot, uh, Diderot was a convinced atheist and was trying to convince the Russians into atheism. Catherine was very annoyed by this and she asked for Euler's help. Euler thought about it and when he began a theological discussion with Diderot, Euler said, a plus B is to over 
n is equal to x hence therefore god exists dear what was poor at mathematics and was unable to understand what Euler has said on the next day dear what returned to paris where he belonged <laughs> that was a very humorous so thank you these are the reference that i have used for the book for the preparation of this slide the genius of order reflection on his life and work and the great wikipedia thank you thank you for watching Goodbye.